study with me for the driver's test. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Riley. I'm supposed to study for like my driver's test, but I really don't want to. Cause like I didn't study for the SAT or the ACT. So why do I need to study for the driver's? I mean, granted I did do really bad on both the SAT and the ACT. So maybe like I should study, but do I want to? No. So I can't. The only motivation I have to do this is to do it in a video. So <laughs> here we are. I've looked at some of these questions and they're kind of ridiculous. Like, why do I need to know these certain things? Like one of the questions I remember, it was like, how many feet away are you supposed to be from like a car in front of you? I've always been told it's a car's length, but it's apparent, like you need to know the feet. Oh, you're in traffic. Oh, oh, hold on. How many, how far away am I supposed to be from that car for me? <laughs> hold on, let me, let me park. Let me pull out my rollers. Oh, yep. Correct. We're good. Keep going. Oh, what? California DMV right there. Let's see. Important information. Blah, blah, blah. Lots of words. Really boring. Where's the practice test? Okay, let's go. Class C test number one. You may drive off of a paved roadway to pass another vehicle. Is turning left? Wait, wait. Drive off the paved. I'm already struggling. <laughs> under no under no circumstances. That do that doesn't even make sense. You are approaching a railroad crossing. Speed limit is 15. That seems accurate. When parking your vehicle parallel to the curb on a level street. Um, what? Parallel to the curb on a level street. Okay. Your front wheel must be turned toward the street. Why? Your wheel must be 18 inches of the curb. Oh, let me break out my ruler. Am I 18? Inches? One of your rear wheels must touch the curb. I feel like it's 18 inches. I don't think I've ever seen like car wheels actually touching the curb. When you are merging onto the freeway, you should be driving at or near the speed. Shouldn't you be going faster? Five to ten slower. No, the posted speed limit. Probably. When driving in fog, you should use your fog lights. Um, I'm gonna go low beams. A white painted curb means loading zone for freight or passenger. I don't know. A school bus ahead of you in your lane is stopped with red lights flashing. You should you should stop. You then proceed when you think all the children have exited the bus and like mm, 10 points hit a kid slow to 25 and pass stop as long as the red lights are flashing yes california's basic speed law says you should never drive faster than posted speed limits i mean it seems pretty basic to me you just sold your vehicle why do i need to know this just google it if you're wondering okay like why is this on the test within five days probably because dmv doesn't give you any time you know they take all the time they want but you can't waste any time to avoid last minute moves you should be looking down the road to where your vehicle will be in about 15 to 20 i don't know sounds right let's see what did i get i got one crack one crack this one's wrong at or near the speed of as a traffic on the freeway but wait how are you supposed to merge if you're going the same speed as the people on the freeway. Yeah, that one I wasn't gonna, all right, that was just a guess. Um, and this one is 10 to 15. I mean, does it really matter if you're like guessing a little over? Ugh. Let's go to the next test. Test number two. You are about to make a left turn. You must signal continuously during the last blank feet of your turn. Don't they turn off by themselves? Which of the following statements about blind spots is true? They're blind, you can't see them. Large trucks have bigger blind spots Probably. I've been involved in a minor traffic collision. Oh no. With a parked vehicle. <laughs> Sucks to be you. And you can't find the owner. You must leave a note on the vehicle. Report the accident with a delay. I mean, I would leave a note. Because getting the police involved, that just seems kind of unnecessary. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in a residential area is 20 probably because you don't want to go too speedy you don't want to run those kids over may legally block an intersection never when parking uphill on a two-way street with no curb your front wheel should be didn't we already do this question with a class c driver's license a person may drive a three-axle vehicle i don't know i'm just gonna guess turn left from a multi die lane one-way street onto a one-way what if you are involved in a traffic collision you are required to complete and submit a written report to the dmv if their property damage exceeds one thousand dollars or if they're how do you know if their property damage is that high though roadways are most slippery after it rains first rain after a dry spell probably let's see what i got oh that one's wrong 100 feet the, the car does it on its own why do we need to know that okay this one oh good so they oh no they do want you to tell the cops but they also want you to leave a note um unless otherwise posted the speed limit is 25 that's kind of fast turn to the right away from the street so you turn away from the street but then your wheels are pointed toward the street 
Oh, no, okay, because the Carl turn. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> I'm a little lost, but fair enough. That's number three. You may not park your vehicle on the side of the freeway in emergency. I mean, if it's an emergency. Not within 100 feet of an elementary school, probably if you have a restraining order, but two sets of solid double yellow lines means you can't cut in front of the person or something like that. You want to make a right turn? You're gonna turn right. You should slow down and turn on your blinker. You're driving on a freeway posted for 65 miles per hour. The traffic is traveling 70 miles per hour. They're breaking the law. I'm gonna go between 65 and 70, even though that's breaking the law and going above the speed limit. Is it illegal to park your vehicle? No, it's not. In an unmarked crosswalk. Well, how do you know it's a crosswalk if it's unmarked? The safest precaution that you can take regarding the use of cell phones and driving is don't do it. That's it. That's all you need to know. If you have a green light, but traffic is blocking the intersection, you should not go. You are getting ready to make a right turn. You should. Signal and turn. Yes. You must obey instructions from school crossing guards. Never. They're not your boss. Okay, right, 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 right. What? Between 65, so it's no faster than 65. How are you supposed to merge if you're going slower than the speed of traffic? You're getting ready to make a right turn. You should slow down or stop if necessary, but they didn't. You didn't use your blinker. It is a very windy day. You are driving and a dust storm blows across the freeway, reducing your visibility. You should drive slower and turn on your parking lights. Is that even a thing? If you plan to pass another vehicle, you should. Assume the other driver will maintain a constant speed. Yes, do that. If you drive faster than other vehicles on a road with one lane in each direction and continuously pass the other cars, you will. What? I did not comprehend anything I just read. Which of these vehicles must always stop before crossing railroad tracks? All of them. Oh wait, no, actually only buses do, don't they? Or other big, 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 big boys cars? You are driving on a one-way street. You must turn left onto another one-way street only if a sign permits the turn. Probably. You may cross a double yellow line to pass another vehicle if the yellow line next to you is dashed. At intersections, crosswalks, and railroad crossings, you should always stop, drop, and roll. You drive defensively when you always put one car length between you and the car ahead. Yes, look only at the car in front of you while driving. No, you should be looking everywhere. Like, how are you supposed to pay attention to all these things at once? It seems like too much to pay attention to. You got your top mirror, you got your side mirrors, you got your front view you got like all these switches and buttons everywhere and then there's two pedals but you're only supposed to use one foot why are there two pedals you have two feet use both feet if you plan to pass another vehicle you should not assume the other driver will make space for you well isn't my answer also correct i mean i would assume they're not gonna slow down for me that's like they're connected you are driving on a one-way street and turn left and turn like traffic on the street moves to the left. Okay, but then it would be permitted by a sign. Look to the side of your vehicle to see what's coming. Shouldn't you also stop, listen, and like look around? Maybe I'm thinking too much into this, but I think I'd be right, technically. Last one. If you're driving on the freeway, the vehicle in front of you is a large truck. You should drive further behind it than you would for a passenger vehicle, probably. What if that truck just like drops all its like truck juice on you? Then you're full of truck juice. So you wanna be a little, a little further back. All the following practices are dangerous to do while driving. Which of them is illegal? On your phone. Always stop before you're cro before you cross. That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do. When you tailgate, drive closer to their rear bar bar. Doesn't it also like you party before like sports events? You can frustrate the other driver and make them angry. I mean, you can, you can't, you can't do that. You see a signal person at a road, wait, you see a single sig signal person? What is a signal person? Like the person that goes like, you should obey his or her, and why don't they just use their? You should obey their instructions. When can you drive in a bike lane? When you're a bike. There is no crosswalk, and you see a pedestrian crossing the lane ahead. You should run him over. You frustrate other drivers. That's what I said originally. You see a yellow flashing light. It means slow down and cross the intersection. Oh, no, that's what I put. Oh, no, wait, what? Stop, yield to all cross traffic before crossing the... Doesn't that mean the same thing? A yellow solid line next to a broken yellow line means vehicles next to the broken line. Oh, I would have got it right if I understood the question. ASL ones, how does that work? Oh, they're videos, that's cool. Can people with ASL read, though? Can we find, like, a Quizlet? <laughs> 
let's see, um, California Drivers Test Quizlet. Quizlet, wow, look at that. Little flashcard. You may drive off a paved roadway or pass another vehicle. Dang, look at that. Okay, I'm not gonna study anymore though, so. Let's just, uh, how many questions are on the driver's test? 46 questions, what the heck is this, the SAT? You'll be required to answer 38 correctly to pass. Future editing where I like, calculate my score, see if I pass. You didn't pass, you got 66%. It was like 33 out of 50, so good luck with that driver's test. Well, that's all the studying I'm ever gonna do. I don't ever wanna go to the DMV website ever again. It's confusing and I hate it. And I hated those practice tests. They didn't make any sense. Ugh. And they're worded badly. I hope the test isn't like that because that's just like, it's like they want you to fail. They wanna confuse you to be like, ah, oh, never mind. I don't need to drive. Even though you do, everyone has to drive in the US. If you live in Europe, you wouldn't have to get a license because you could just like, they have great public transportation. You could just take a bus from like Germany to Denmark. Anyway, that's it. Bye.